Welcome everyone to another edition of the Ryan and Russ Show. On today's episode, the West Virginia Mountaineers head back to Bob Huggins' old home and take on the Xavier Musketeers in Cincinnati, Ohio. All ahead on the Ryan and Russ Show. And we welcome you back to your source for West Virginia sports. I'm Rambling Rush. He's Moneyline Mac. We are the Ryan and Rush Show, and we're getting right into it. Ryan, big challenge coming up. Uh, we just got off the Phil Knight legacy and with Purdue, Portland State, and Florida got the Florida monkey off our back, which is great. But now our next challenge going up to Cincinnati, playing Xavier. This is our first game on the road because we all know we were in Portland last week. What, what's the mindset going into this? How do the Mountaineers handle something like this? Well, you can't get complacent, obviously. Coming off the big Florida win, winning by 30. You're going to get his hungry Xavier team. They've lost three games so far in the non-conference, but it's three games by 12 points, and those opponents were Indiana, Duke, and Gonzaga, all in the top 15 in the country, and they were right there to win all three of those games. Two of them they led late in the second half against Indiana and Gonzaga, so this is going to be quite the test for Hugs in this group. I think that you know, usually our non-conference schedule, there's not a lot of road games. Um, sometimes there is, but it's more kind of getting used to a different atmosphere. This being local and close, I'm assuming there'll be a nice West Virginia presence there. Mm -hmm. There'll definitely be a big Bob Huggins fan presence with him formerly being a Cincinnati Bearcat and both of these teams being in Cincinnati. But I think it's also great, you know, Xavier came into this season as a top 10 team. And yes, maybe they're four and three, but those three losses are... I guess, understandable yeah. losses. And this is definitely a game that we can't take lightly, especially with how good their offense is. Yeah, no, I mean, they're an elite offensive team. Uh, against Indiana, they score 80. Duke, they score 70. And then against Gonzaga, they almost score 90. And, and they scored 90 on Florida as well. So, I mean, this is one of the better offensive teams in the country. They make shots from all five spots. Uh, they're shooting 46% as a team. No, that's not a typo. 46% as a team from three, uh, including their five and four men who both make shots as well. Something we noticed about this team kind of going through their roster and looking at the minutes and, and how everyone's played this year so far. I think West Virginia and Xavier are both very similar teams in the sense where you don't um, have like Purdue has like an ED, right? Yeah. But this team is just very well balanced. We're very well balanced. They have about seven men in rotation. You know, they'll get an eighth, ninth coming off the bench to put in some minutes. But we might be deeper, but it's this is going to be kind of that first big challenge where their strength is their offense. Our strength is our defense. Their weakness is their offense. Uh, excuse me. Their weakness is their defense, yeah. and our weakness is our offense. So definitely the weakness is going against each other and the strengths going against each other. So I think what this game comes down to, right, is who does better at their weakness. Yeah, who can impose their will on the other person's uh, weakness, just like you said. And for all the college basketball fans out there, Sean Miller is now the coach at Xavier. And, yes, the same Sean Miller – that started at Xavier once upon a time, then went out to Arizona, obviously got involved with the scandal at the end of his era in uh, Tucson. So, uh, But he's back in Xavier. He takes over a very talented team. They were 12-1 and at one point last year before kind of collapsing in the Big East, but they went on to win the NIT in the postseason. They probably were the first team out of the NCAA tournament. Probably should have made the tournament since they won the NIT. They bring back four starters, and then they add a point guard, and Sule Boom, who uh, was a player of the year in Conference USA last year. So this is a very talented and explosive Xavier Musketeer offense. So Sean Miller has to leave Arizona, but Bill Self gets a self-imposed for four games. That's how that works? Yeah, I mean, this is Kansas's world. We're all just living in it. There you go. So so far, the, the, the line, so to speak, to see who's favored and unfavored doesn't come out till Friday night. But right now, Ken Palm is predicting... Uh, two point edge to to the C Xavier Musketeers, especially you know with them at home, so it makes sense. I do think this game, talking about how everything lines up, is about an even game. Yeah. So that that two points definitely comes from um, home court advantage. Uh, also, kind of the history of this game and and the history of the Big East Big Twelve battle is so since the Big East Big Twelve battle has been around, this is our I guess going into our fourth year. We're two and one. Um, the past couple years. So winning record, definitely want to make it to three and one. And the last time we played Xavier, right, is 
Unfortunately, I don't mean to bring it up, Mountaineers fans, but a great way to get revenge is Bob Huggins' first year. We played them in the Sweet 16 back in 2008. And that was the game. We were up 20 at half, and then we ended up losing to them in overtime. So great way to get some revenge, Ryan. Yeah, no doubt. And the ironic thing is this team kind of reminds me of that 2008 team where they got multiple guys. They didn't have a true star. I know Joe Alexander was theoretically the true star because he was the eighth pick in the draft, but you had guys like Darius Nichols, Alex Ruoff, and guys and Deshaun Butler that just came along and it was a well-balanced group and they were playing their best ball at the end of the year. And if they had got past Xavier, they were going to play UCLA in year one of the Hugs era to get to the Final Four. So, yeah, we owe Xavier one. I, I think we do. Yeah. I think we do. I'd like to get the three and one in that, in that battle as well. Something else um, – Xavier's very good offense. Obviously, they're also very good in transition, yep. something that we'll really need to clamp down on on defense. Um, we also know that they like to give different defensive looks, especially coming out of the timeout. So definitely a couple more things to watch for. But um, keys to victory, Ryan. How, how do – actually, before we get into the keys of victory, um, any interesting matchups that, that you see right now between players? Well, let, let, let's go to the coach success first. So when you – Flick on the TV Saturday night, and you see a bald-headed guy, big jack guy at the end of the bench. That's a familiar face. Yes, that's Andy Kettler, former strength coach for uh, Hugs 10 years. I think he was here. So he is uh, Sean Miller's strength coach now in year one there. So obviously Xavier lifts weights, and they're going to be a tough-minded team just because they have uh, my guy Kettler on the bench. But uh, Seems like all those guys are bald, right? Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's one of the requirements to be a strength coach is you got to be bald and jack. So, yeah, no. Uh, when you, when you flick on the TV, yes, that is Andy Kettler, and yes, that's the same Andy Kettler that was here for years and the guy behind the scenes of uh, Press Virginia for all those years when we were built like animals. I mean, we, we were built different back then. But uh, back to actually on the hardwood, I think, like, like you said, keeping them out of transition. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're the, the matchup I would key in on is their bigs because they're more skilled bigs versus our bigs like Jimmy and Mo that are more toughness and, and, and kind of bang you down low. So this is going to be a – Interesting matchup for Jimmy trying – he's going to get dragged away from the rim, so he's got to be able to move his feet and stay out of foul trouble because I thought when he got in foul trouble against Edie the other night against Purdue, that really hurt us. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's this definitely seems like that game an uh, unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Mm -hmm. Which one's going to give and give first? And that can be – momentum's going to be a very big thing in this game, and if we can get that crowd quiet early – yeah, definitely a big thing. Just come out, come out shooting hard. Something I'm before we get to your keys of victory. One, one big thing, at least for me, and something I noticed, and maybe you'll hit on it here soon, is when you are dealing with a very good offensive team and dealing with a team that shoots 46 percent from three point range is getting those those defensive rebounds yeah. right, right, like right away and transitioning right into your offense. You can't be giving them second, third, fourth challenges. It's like we talked about kind of to preview this season and earlier in the game stuff we were hoping to avoid is a game of volleyball breaking down under the under the net there. So if you can avoid that and giving them opportunities to to get another shot at three points or you know just them being able to set up their offense, I think that's going to be huge. Well, I mean, there's no better time to take a three than off an offensive rebound. Exactly. It seems to always work that way where you tip it out and there's a wide open one more pass to a guy wide open for three. So, absolutely, got to box out. Out-rebounded Florida by 20, so need to do the same. We're not going to out-rebound them probably by 20, but, I mean, we need to win the battle on the glass. Something I wanted to ask you too, Ryan, um, and then we'll hear your three keys to victory, is we – our last game was at Florida that, that, excuse me, against Florida in Portland. Uh, that was a, we won that Sunday. So we're not playing again for another six days. Xavier has a game tonight, Wednesday. How does that amount of rest help us or, or hurt us? Or is it just kind of one of those things where it's just not something to look into too hard? I don't think it's as big of an advantage because Xavier will get the bad taste out of their mouth tonight. They play Southeast Louisiana, uh, the Lions, uh, by the way, the head coach of Southeastern Louisiana is David Kiefer, a former manager for Hugs at Cincinnati back in the day. So his dad runs the Hooters out in Vegas. So there you go. He's a friend of mine. <laughs> so uh, I'll be rooting for the Lions tonight. But anyway, back to uh, what your question was. I don't think as much because the game is until Saturday night. So if the game was, if they were playing Southeast Louisiana on Thursday night, I think it would be more of a factor because it would be a quicker turn. Mm -hmm. But they're still going to have their traditional two-day prep and get ready to go because they probably will beat Southeast Louisiana pretty well tonight and rest their starters. Are you worried about any rust from West Virginia, though? 
maybe a little bit just because it's we're not really used to having five days off. That's kind of more of an NBA thing. I mean, once you get a Big 12 play, it's always two days off, maybe three. And in a lot of cases, you have the Saturday, Monday quick turn. I've always thought we were better actually on short rest because we just rely more on our principles of defensively with denying stuff it's hard to prepare for. Sometimes when we've had more time, I think it's, I don't know, not overcomplicate things, but it's just, it's more time for the opponent to prepare for us. I agree. And it's yeah. more time to just sit and think about yeah. things. And sometimes no like we saw when uh, TCU played Baylor and they rushed out their field goal kicker. Sometimes you just, just go out there and kick, go out there yeah. and play. Don't even think about it. So, but I also have a feeling too, our, our man, Bob Huggins will, keep the guys a little fired up this week in practice. Oh, no, he wants this game. He doesn't <laughs> like Xavier from his days at Cincinnati in the Crosstown shootout, as they call it. Skyline Chili Bowl, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, give us your keys, Ryan. How do the West Virginia Mountaineers win this game? Key vic- or keys to victory, number one. Uh, I'm going to start. This is the first road game. Stay together. Xavier's going to make the runs. It's going to be loud. Stay together. Take their punch. Punch back. And, and just be right there at the end to win the game. Because you, you know Xavier's going to come out of the gate swinging. Uh, number two, keep them out of transition. I mean, I mentioned it. The crowd's going to be going crazy. There's no better way for a crowd to get going into the game than a three in transition, a dunk in transition. So keep them out of transition and make them score against our half-court defense. And key to victory, number three, the final one, use our strength in numbers. We're deeper than Xavier. I think we can get some fouls on their bigs, uh, Nunge and Fremantle inside with Jimmy and Mo. So wear them down and uh, have a chance to win at the end. I don't even mind if we commit a couple early fouls just yeah. to really hit them hard on offense and, and, and keep them under control. I like that. I, I think it could come down to the bench, and ours is deeper, ours is stronger, and I'll, I'll take our bench almost. Pro- actually, I will take our bench over any other bench out there in the country. I love I love this team. I love how it's just 10 deep and mm-hmm. – You know, even can get a couple more out of there. So anyway, uh, game will be at December 3rd. This game's going to be at Xavier. The game starts at 630. We'll be on FS1. So everyone, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Good to be back in studio. Uh, Enjoy your holidays coming up. And we'll be back next week to recap this game. And we have a lot of other things to talk about in terms of West Virginia. So Yes, we do. Absolutely. Love y'all. Go Mountaineers.